allegations were made that four young women had gang raped these two little girls. Deb, welcome to Daily Extra. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. You're the director of a true crime story called Southwest of Salem, the story of the San Antonio Four. Who are the San Antonio Four? So the San Antonio Four is a moniker that was given to four Latina lesbians in the state of Texas who were wrongfully convicted of a really heinous crime. So through the course of their battle to fight for exoneration, they sort of became this thing called the San Antonio Four. What were these women accused of? They were convicted of child sexual assault back in the early 90s. Um, they, the allegations are that they gang raped uh, two little girls, the nieces of the alleged ringleader. Um, these were wrongful, this was a wrongful conviction story and it was during this cultural hysteria that has become known as the satanic sexual abuse panic, mm -hmm. which um, sort of the seeds of which began in the United States but then spread to other parts of the English speaking world. So we did see elements of the satanic panic which lasted during the 80s, uh, 80s through the 90s um, and also moved to parts of the UK and Australia as well. Satanic ritual abuse has become the fastest growing and most controversial psychological phenomenon in the country. It's a modern twist to an ancient story. Investigated their world of covens and sacrifices. What role did homophobia play? All four women were identified as gay. They were young, they were out in a conservative city, in a primarily Catholic city, um, and you know, so much of the I think of the uh, cultural hysteria about their case was really because they were gay and so it, it sort of railroaded into this idea, well because they're gay, because they're four women, this must be true, it must be this thing and it must be a cult ritual. Um, and the opening arguments of the prosecutor begins with this was a cult type activity. According to the people in court, this is what gay people do. No. Well, I don't know how much you want to give away, but these women are released and seeking exoneration. Where are they now in that process? So it's sort of a dark, dark, um, bittersweet time for them. They are out of prison. Um, they were released on a signature bond. One of the women was one of the women was parole earlier, and I don't. Yeah, I don't want to get too much about the details of that. But um, you know, they are still fighting for exoneration. They went, what you'll see in the film is towards the end, they do have what's called an evidentiary hearing where they face the judge that was the same judge that convicted them in court 20 years earlier. And you sort of see what transpires during that hearing. Um, and it's a pretty unfortunate and dark outcome. Yeah. Um, and right now they're still fighting. So there's always this feeling that they could be on the brink of going back to prison. How did this get past the media, the jury, the appeals process, their defense lawyers? Until we get the exoneration, we won't actually be free of any of this. The modern version of the witchcraft trials.